Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're going to analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and we're also going to have a look on Ethereum because on Ethereum we have a nice breakout to the upside. In yesterday's video we covered that Ethereum was in a consolidation wedge and we had the breakout now my friend. So we're going to have a look on that and before we start I have a big security announcement for our Discord trading chat. So if you want to become a member in our Discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome then go down below here in the video description and click here on this discord invitation link like this you can get access to our great crypto family over on discord and we have this new feature going on right now where you can just easily go here where it says read first and then you click here on this thumbs up button like this we can prevent that bots and scammers are entering into our chat because recently we had a lot of new bot attacks and like this we can get more security and also prevent such attacks in our great crypto trading chat so if you want to join it make sure that you click here on the link and then go here where it says read first and click the thumbs up button this is not only for new users this is also needed for everyone that is already member in our crypto family over on discord everyone has to go right now over to read first and then click here on thumbs up in order to be able again to read the chat and of course also send messages all right my friends this was the very very important news for our great cryptocurrency trading chat over on discord and this is also the place where you can get access to my live stream indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for bitcoin for a little donation of course and now we can start with the content my friends because let's go over quickly into the ethereum chart let's start with ethereum because as you can see we had yesterday Today, this consolidation wedge that were coming almost to an end and I told you that most likely we're gonna see first a breakout in the ethereum chart before we're gonna see that in the Bitcoin chart and that could lead us where also Bitcoin could be breaking out so ethereum currently here you can see the one hour time frame had this breakout to the upside and as you can see in the one hour we also came down to confirm the new support currently at around one thousand three hundred dollar and we are seeing this continuation now to the upside so the pump is still ongoing and it is still not too late if you want to fomo in into a long position because the target of this breakout in theory is at around one thousand seven hundred dollar and since right now we are are touching the all-time high of ethereum at around one thousand four hundred dollar i think as soon as we're gonna break it we're gonna shoot straight up here towards one thousand five hundred to one thousand seven hundred dollar and there we're gonna see what will happen because if ethereum is able to consolidate here at this one thousand five hundred to one thousand seven hundred dollar area same like bitcoin right now is also consolidating between thirty to forty thousand then I think we could see also here Ethereum keeping up with this high price level and maybe we're not going to see any bigger correction anytime soon. So let's wait and see what will happen here in the Ethereum price. It looks like that we will see continuation to the upside and that could be a leading indicator for where Bitcoin is going to head to next. Because if we switch now over into the Bitcoin price, you can see that currently we are still consolidating here within this wedge and we have to break out also here pretty soon. And if Ethereum is the leading indicator, then we should expect here a breakout to the upside, my friends. Of course, there are still some warning signs also here in the lower time frame. It looks like that we are forming here a potential rising wedge. If we go over into the one hour time frame, you can see this clear resistance that we have here and this potential support down here so if we would connect here just the tops this uh, would give us a kind of a uh, yeah rising wedge that usually breaks out to the downside but uh, since recently we are ignoring always bearish patterns i think we still have a big chance here to break out to the upside and as soon as we're going to take out this resistance that we have currently at around thirty-eight thousand three hundred dollar i think also here we're going to see a big breakout to the upside which will in my opinion will also take out here this forty two thousand dollar all-time high that we had so far in the bitcoin price all right so let's go back to the 
four hour time frame and uh, yeah let's have a look on the moving averages because currently we're still trading above all the moving averages which of course is good and even if we would break out here to the downside you can see that the 200 moving average right now is coming up here at around $31,000 and even if we would come down here to test this important moving average uh, basically nothing would change here on our structure to the upside we could still recover from it if we're gonna see uh, a little crash here towards this moving average so the four hour is still looking great the only problem is that as you can see here in the Bollinger Bands we are squeezing in this uh, tiny channel and all the stochastic right now is in overbought condition so uh, a possible pullback is still in the cards here my friends even though we're seeing a breakout in the ethereum price so if you think that bitcoin will for sure break out here to the upside same like ethereum then start already now to open up a small long position but if you want to trade on with the safe way then wait for the breakout and then the confirmation of this new support same as ethereum did so if you're seeing in the one hour or four hour time frame the price breaking out to the upside and then comes back down to retest the new New support that in theory we would have then at around $38,800 then this is the moment where you can trade this over on Bybit and Femix with a nice long position because if the price is then continues to breaking to the upside you can do some really huge gains my friends and now let's go over into the daily time frame because this is in my opinion currently the most important time frame since we are now still trading between the 20 and 9 daily moving average at the moment we are trading above the 9 daily moving average which currently is lining up at $36,300 so if we are able to break out here to the upside and also continues to close now daily candles above the 9 daily moving average then I think this downtrend is denied and we're gonna head higher here only if today or in the next couple of days we're gonna continue to close daily candles below these important moving averages here right between the 20 and 9 daily moving average then I'm afraid that we could see this possible big dump and big correction that we are waiting now for so long but if Bitcoin is able to recover here and gonna pump same as we're seeing right now in Ethereum then I think this is denied and we will see continuation towards higher levels and keep in mind that the next Fibonacci extension level in the log scale is at $63,000 so if we are able to go towards 50k I'm pretty confident that all the 63,000 will be reached very very soon and in the daily we are still trading above the 50 level in the RSI which of course is very bullish and this is what we want to see during an uptrend and if now we have a look also into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're trading right in the middle line so we are in a very critical point and since we are seeing now this ethereum pump and also the stochastic now is completely oversold we have a very good chance now to have a big bounce from the middle line here in the bollinger bands because so far we never came below the middle line since we're starting to go completely parabolic so right now there is a very high chance that we could see here this big push to the upside only if we are really starting to close daily candles below the 20 daily moving average so below $36,000 then I'm afraid that we could see the price going again towards 30k where also the 200 moving average in the 4 hour currently is lining up so it is possible that we're gonna see 31 to 30k before we're gonna break out here to the upside but since ethereum is looking so bullish and already had this pump same like we have seen also on Chainlink a couple of days ago I'm pretty confident that we're gonna have some very huge buy pressure in the Bitcoin price because remember that a lot of traders that are making gains right now with Chainlink and Ethereum they're gonna for sure take some profits out into Bitcoin so they most likely will not just cash out in fiat but these profits that they are doing right now they're most likely gonna convert it back into Bitcoin so if all these people that are sitting right now in huge gains in Ethereum and also in Chainlink are starting to convert and take profits in Bitcoin and also in Bitcoin we're gonna see some buy pressure coming in we could see the price go straight towards 50 or 60 thousand dollars and we can also have a look into the Bitcoin dominance because currently we are falling off the cliff this is what I was also expecting here since Ethereum and Chainlink was pumping like crazy we also had some other altcoins that were performing pretty well 
but currently Ethereum and Chainlink is where the show is. Currently they are outperforming really everything. Of course there are also some little projects that are outperforming Ethereum and Chainlink, but I'm talking about the top coiners that are pumping like crazy right now. So sometimes you see when Bitcoin is just trading sideways and getting boring, you can still go over to Ethereum or Chainlink or any other altcoins and trade it over on Bybit and Femex because also here you can trade with altcoins and otherwise you can also do some flip tradings where you can switch some bitcoins to some altcoins and then back once you're in profits and this is what you can do over on Binance so if you want a Bybit Femex or Binance account go down below here and use my referral links you will get some extra cash if you use my invitation links down below here because those are the exchanges that you need in order to maximize your gains my friends wherever the price is going so since the Bitcoin dominance currently is falling down, I'm expecting here complete retracement back down towards the main support here at around 60%. After we broke out from this important resistance here, you can see that the Bitcoin dominance is again falling within this descending broadening wedge that we had previously here. And I'm pretty confident that if we're going to see continuation to the downside, we will move towards the 200 daily moving average here at around 62% and then maybe also test here the main support that we had previously so what we are seeing right now my friends is a little altcoin season that of course is very good for all the altcoin hodlers but make sure that if you are sitting in huge profits in altcoins to switch some of them back into bitcoin because for the long term bitcoin for sure will outperform everything and everyone now is waiting for bitcoin to do the next move and since we are seeing some altcoins pumping like crazy right now i'm pretty confident that we're gonna see this also here next in the bitcoin price at least right now everything is more pointing out that we're gonna see here a breakout to the upside but if you want to trade the safe way then maybe wait first for the breakout and confirmation before entering a trade or before buying more bitcoin and before we're gonna wrap this up my friends we're gonna have a look into the dxy because the dxy currently is the only danger for all the altcoins and also for the bitcoin price because if the dxy continues to pump here towards the 100 daily and 200 daily moving average then this could be really dangerous for the bitcoin price and overall also for the altcoins but right now at the time of recording we are seeing a possible pullback here towards the 200 moving average again in the four hour let's see if we can confirm it as a support or not if the dxy is falling again below the 200 moving average in the four hour so below 90 dollars i'm pretty confident that this was a fake out and the dxy will continue to plunge into the abyss and of course that will be very bullish for the crypto space because in that case we should expect the price to continue to go higher and higher but if here we're going to create a bottom and a support at the 200 moving average and then bounce from it and also create a higher high so if we're going to take out this 91 dollars over here then i'm pretty confident that the dxy is looking more bullish than bearish and we could expect here a possible pump towards the 100 and 200 daily moving average so between 92 and 94 dollars and that could lead into a massive correction also in the crypto space because usually when the DXY is pumping, we are seeing exactly the opposite in the crypto space where we're going to have a bigger correction. But keep in mind that even if the DXY is going to push towards this important resistance area up here, because previously it acted as a support and now it should be acting as a new resistance. If we're coming that high here, I'm expecting a big rejection up here. And then of course the DXY will continue to fall off the cliffs here and in the Bitcoin price and overall also in the altcoins, we gonna continue to pump like crazy so if this scenario is happening that the dxy is able to go to this region up here and we are seeing a correction in the bitcoin price then make sure that you're able to buy as much as possible because this is just the beginning of the bull run my friends so try to accumulate as much as possible and also be ready to make some nice long trades over on Bybit or Femex wherever you're trading. And if you don't feel too comfortable in trading yourself, then maybe of course try 
try out our Discord trading chat where we have very often some nice trading signals. And of course, here you can also get access to my own indicator live stream. And next to that, of course, you can use Prime XPT because on Prime XPT you have a co-vesting feature where you can easily just copy trade other traders. And like this, you can just top up some Bitcoin over there, click on follow on the trader that you would like to follow. And like this, you can also earn some passive money and do some nice gains if you catch the right traders so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now make sure to be subscribed here on this channel i do daily ta videos and also leave a like on every video i very much appreciate that i really appreciate your support my friends we have a very great crypto family and also check out all the links that you find down below here especially if you are new in the crypto space because those are the recommended exchanges and links where you can get some free cryptos and also sign up completely for free and of course you always get some extra cash if you use an invitation link so make sure to use my links down below here for example if you need a coinbase account a binance account or swiss Borg account where you can easily buy cryptos with your credit card or with your bank account so check them out. I'm sure that some of them are very helpful for you. So thank you very much for watching my friends. And we're going to see us all in the next one. Bye.